Hello and welcome to another video. This one I'm going to be going over an experiment I did with key wireless charging technology. Uh, I got this kind of cool idea off the internet of making an interactive uh, wirelessly charging magic lamp. Uh, basically what I do is I get an, a small Arduino microcontroller and solder it to a key wireless charging battery that you would put in a Samsung Galaxy phone or something similar. And then I also solder a NeoPixel light ring onto it. I put this printed circuit inside a 3D printed housing. And then I put a diffuser, which is just a crystal ball right on top, uh, to give the effect. So you can kind of see this is the wirelessly charging pad. The black thing is a 3D printed housing for the electronics. And the crystal ball is the light diffuser on top. So you can kind of see right in here is the electronics inside it. When you move the entire crystal ball on top of the wireless charging, uh, we start receiving five volts to the Arduino. It turns on and then triggers the code, which is going to be turning the LED ring on a specific pin, different colors, and doing different animations that you program it beforehand. And of course, you can always uh, plug in the micro USB to the Arduino and hook it up to your computer so you can change the code at any time. And all the code I'll post on my GitHub as well. You can kind of see that's what it looks like without the diffuser. And uh, it was just a really interesting project to do. It wasn't really challenging parts. Um, the only thing you have to make sure is that you have enough spacing for the electronics so that the crystal ball doesn't actually touch the electronics and smush them down, especially the light ring since that's on top. So you gotta make sure it's neat and that your 3D printed housing or whatever you use is uh, tall enough so that the crystal ball isn't smushing it. So you can see this is when I put the, uh, the housing onto the wireless charging base without the diffuser on, that's what it looks like. Let's start going through its animations. Here's the, uh, the circuit on its own. You can kind of see this is the uh, wireless charging accept right there. That's the Arduino. I'm using a Pro Trinket, 5 volts. And this is just a 12 count NeoPixel RGB LED ring. So they all share a common ground. I have the battery positive um, soldered into the battery right here on the Arduino and then the 5 volt is being distributed from the Arduino to the you know, pixel ring and then I have it going to a specific pin. Uh, it looks like I'm going pin 3 for this. This is a nice form factor too because it's smaller than say an Arduino Uno which is really just for prototyping when you want to do something a little bit you know, less prototype-ish, you want to make sure that you can have a smaller form factor as well as being able to power it a different way so you don't just have a bunch of wires, whether you do a lithium battery, but in this case I did a special battery of um, wireless charging, and this is what it looks like when you, you put your phone on that wireless charger, it receives power through there from the inductive coil that's inside those batteries. That's basically what the 3D printed uh, housing looks like. It's just a simple cylinder to make sure I house it. I had to make sure that the, uh, the wall thickness was going to be enough to support the overall uh, radius of the crystal ball that I was using, as well as the thickness on the bottom was not too thick so that the wireless charging would still go through. So I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of what it looks like. I'll just start playing these videos of different angles. So right here, this is in my, uh, my apartment with the lights off. So you can kind of see the diffuser of this is the, the crystal ball and this is what it looks like against my roof. Uh, this is underneath a desk. So you can see it creates a different kind of flower effect whereas this is more of like a an open circle um, because the diffused light is at a closer angle. And no matter what surface you kind of diffuse it against, whether it's a flat roof like this or a sloped roof that I also have in my apartment, you can kind of see you can get really cool different effects. So 
not just the colors and the timing, but also the, the surface and the diffuser that you use um, can vary in what you see with your eyes. So it's pretty cool. Right now, I just have it doing a sequence of turning all the different colors. As you can see right here, these two videos are in sync. And then after that, I'll do a spinning. And I'll cycle through all the colors. There's yellow, green, blue, purple. There's rainbow. And then after I go and do all of the, uh, the color cycle, I'll do another animation where I'm just changing the color and kind of fading in and fading out. Here's me moving the video to where I can get kind of underneath the crystal ball. So you can see this is a reflection of the LED ring inside the diffuser. Um, that's something you normally wouldn't get because it is uh, really well lit. So you want to be able to see that when you cover it up all in the dark. This is when I was first testing out the crystal ball. So I still have the saran wrap on it. So that's one of my first tests that I got. So normally what the effect would be is this obviously is unwrapped like it is over here. And you want to have the wireless charging base be hidden so you wouldn't see these lights and also you'd be able to move the crystal ball on any surface and still be able to get a good effect. So I say you would hide it underneath a mat and then you would just be able to move this housing on top of the mat and you'd be able to see the effect as if the magic lamp was just turning on all by itself and then when you moved it off of the hidden charging base you'd be able to get the effect of it just magically turning off so it's kind of cool effect um, of course you could have always just had little holes for the wires on the back of the 3d housing 3d printed housing um, but this is just more fun and also gave me a little intro to the wireless charging technology that we have. And that's it.